Coming off a remarkable season, the head coach of Rice joins us now, David Bailiff, also joining us, their starting quarterback, Taylor McCarg. First of all, coach, last season, I would have to say that ranks up with one of the all-time great finishes in the history of college football. First six games, hmm, then you end up winning five in a row. What was that like? Well, you know, first, we never gave up. We lost in double overtime. We lost by three. You know, we were in every game, and it was just a matter of us you know, continuing to improve each week. And it was a tribute to these young men that they came over there un every Monday and they went right back to work. You know, there wasn't any panic. They, they came over and it just content they continued to strengthen their resolve to get it turned around. Uh, you know, we also, we lost him uh, in our double mm -hmm. overtime loss. And as he got healthy <clears throat> in return, we got to be a pretty good football team that, that, you know, we knew we were talented. We just had to put it all together, and I was really proud of how we, we finished that season. Was, was there one thing, and I, I think I know what it is, and it's probably going to be on the other side of the football, one thing in your eyes that was the main reason for the turnaround? Well, actually, there, were, there was two reasons. One was the loss at Memphis. Uh, Philip Gaines, uh, who, very, who does not talk much, right. you know, after that loss really challenged this football team. I thought it was really special that it came from him. And also, as Taylor's injuries and he got healthy, we could run our offense again. Yep. The Memphis game, he was still struggling a little, so we were very conservative. Uh, by the next week, he was healthy. And, you know, we really had just the, – the young men just continued to believe in what we could achieve. And, you know, the Memphis loss was by four. Yeah. You know, and so we were in every one of these games, and you could say if we did this, this, and this, this is a win. And they just, you know, they continued to trust and believe in the coaching staff, and they continued to believe in each other, and, you know, nobody ever panicked. Taylor, we'll talk to you about that. How important was that for you? And what was the feeling in the locker room before the win streak? Was it like guys were better than this? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you come off of a, uh, like you talked about, the loss at Memphis, come back and get a necessary win at, against UTSA, and then we lose another close game to Tulsa. And so now it's, now we're two and six and realize we got to rattle off four in a row to go to a bowl. But that also we've had three or four of those losses that we lost in the, the very end of the game, lost by four, lost by three. And so it was something that we just took the approach of approach this day by day, meeting by meeting, and that it'll take care of itself. And started off against Southern Miss, then Tulane, and just one after another. Try to take it one day at a time, one week at a time, and it was uh, it was a pretty special run. And of course, it ends up beating Air Force in a bowl right. game. Let's talk about you again, Taylor. A couple of years ago, we watched you. You came in, ran the option a lot. Mm -hmm. You were the human pinball, I I've got to admit. But yeah. this <laughs> this past season, 60% completion percentage. You rushed for over 600 yards. How have you matured to know when to take off? Right when not to take the hit and when to throw. Well, I got to give credit first and foremost to- <laughs> he's, he's laughing he, over he here. Laugh, you can't help it. But <laughs> I, I got to give credit to our offensive line for part of that. We have uh, having Nate Richards come in at center and solidifying that position has been huge. And so they kind of dictate when I need to take off and when I don't. And that allowed me to stay in the pocket longer. Um, and instead of it being, you know, look to one, two and then scramble, it was I can get down to my back. I can get down to the check downs and then scramble when you have to. And my role uh, it evolves week to week. There's some weeks where I uh, will be called to run a little more than, than others. And mm -hmm. that's something that's pretty awesome about our offense, how dynamic it is. And um, it's, we can slow it down when we need to, we can speed it up when we need to. And uh, it's something that Coach Reagan does an awesome job of letting me know before the game starts kind of what my role is. And it, sometimes it evolves in the middle of the game. So. One thing that stood out too is you shortened a lot of the games. 34 minutes time of possession for your team. Was that by design? It was and it also what's important in that time of possession we were scoring points. Mm -hmm. You know if you yeah. just hold on to a ball for eight minutes and come up with no points that's not what you want. So time of possession with the touchdown with touchdowns or field goals you know that was paramount <coughs> last year that you know it really kept the defense off the field a lot. I thought last year though too our defense really improved. We held five <clears> or <throat> six opponents under 20 points last year, best defense since 2001. Why I was laughing though is we've, we're trying to give him, we're trying to teach him to slide. I was just going to ask uh, if he was going to slide. We, we're trying so hard. <laughs> He's not going to do it. Teach him you to slide. You got to send him over to the. It's uh, just not it. Well, we're right. get, we've actually Berkman when he was oh, coach of Rice was supposed to come over and teach him to slide, and the Rangers signed him right on the day he was supposed to come. <laughs> Let's over. Let's just blame there. it on him then. So right. We're yeah, still working fault. hard with this young man That's to right. slide. It's just we. Not in his we, instinct, it's right? his DNA right now is working against us. 
<laughs> but we are trying hard to take some hits off him. Here's the number, and, and we were talking about the, the difference. Gave up 560 yards through the first five games, 343 the last eight. That's a huge improvement on the defensive side of the football for you. It was. I thought Chris Thurman and his staff did a great job. We started the year really with some young players that didn't have a lot of experience, and every week they just got better. Uh, and they just continued to improve through the bowl game. You know, and Ev, it was uh, – you just you saw it at UCLA where we couldn't stop the right. run, and each week it got a little better. And by the you know the end of the year, we were one of the top defenses in the conference. We're going to give a little love to the kicking game. Chris Boswell, the pride of Keller, Texas, six six field goals plus fifty yards. I'll take it from your standpoint. When you have a guy that you know, you get to that certain yard line. That's almost an automatic three. Does that take pressure off you? Oh, it's huge. And he, he says the same thing to Coach Bailiff, but he says it to me before every game. He'll come <laughs> up and tell me where I need to get it for him. And he, I'm serious, every game, and he'll get to an exact yard line. And he'll <clears> say, <throat> I need it to the 42 today, and I got it. And you're like, a 40, that's okay, we can do that. And um, sometimes he gets aggravated. We'll go for it on a fourth and one and get it. And he gets mad that he wasn't on the field to kick. It's like, Chris, we kept the drive alive and we got a touchdown. I don't understand why you're, why you're angry. but. Um, he is a, a special talent, and he really is a weapon. I mean, when you list starters, you say we have 19 of 22 coming back. But really, I mean, I would throw him in there as 20 of 22 because he really is that special. He's a, he's a huge weapon for us. When you were talking about the fourth down play, he was shaking his head. <laughs> well, he's usually – we had to have him in the office yeah. because, you know, we'd be on the 40-yard the line and he'd be tugging on my sleeves. He says, Coach, I got a little tailwind. I can make this. <laughs> you, know, it's like, you know, Chris, slow down now. You know, there's – Sometimes we got to worry about where the ball is on the field. We just can't let you try to kick 70 yarders, you know. So he anyway, he's he is a weapon. When we the Kansas win, you know, we went over and we said, where do we need to get the ball, Chris? And he said, if you get me to the 48 yard line, I got a tailwind, I can knock it through. And so I said, Coach Reagan, you ain't gonna believe this. He's saying we got to get to the 48, but let's go ahead and try, <laughs> you know, to get to the 30 or something. Typical kicker, so, right? But that's he's just really confident in his ability, and and you know what? He backs it up. He's he's one of the the first kickers I've been around that truly uh, influenced a football team with leadership and with his <clears> accolades <throat> and what he's accomplished. You know, he he does. He there's he's a big reflection of what we are. He just comes over there every day to work. One final question, and coaches, for you, because two years ago we talked during the season, you talked about changing the culture at Rice. How much did last season go to having that culture changed and then keeping it where it is? You know, I think that is one of the things we're doing. We're recruiting young men now who, who want to graduate, but they also want to win championships, and they want to work equally as hard mm -hmm. on a football field as they do in the classroom. Uh, you know, it's and I think – now, when these young men come over, they're fully dedicated to getting better, getting the football team program. You know, 19 of these seniors are fifth-year young men who have invested quite a lot in Rice University and Rice football. And I think I think we're doing that. I think you see a, a football team now that embraces the fact that we can do both, that we can win conference championships and graduate. And if you see how close this football team is, you know, it's a senior class, and when you get around them, you can tell they really care about each other and you know I think it's got a chance we stay healthy we're gonna have a special year. Gentlemen thank you so much Taylor stay healthy learn how to slide. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. not gonna do it. We'll be back with more from Conference USA after this.